This video will show you how to find your three sources for the chemistry literature review assignment. For this assignment, you need three sources. One of these sources will be a peer-reviewed scholarly journal article that describes an original research study. The other two sources will be popular secondary source articles that describe primary research in easier to read format. Being comfortable with both types of sources will be important to you as a college student, so this is good practice. All of the links you need are available on the resource guide, Chemistry Literature Reviews. We're going to do steps one and two at the same time using the secondary sources tab of the resource guide. Choose one of the popular source websites from the list to start with. If you already have a topic in mind, you can search by keyword. If you don't, you can browse the headlines to look for ideas. On the CNE News site, you can go to the topics list and choose one that looks interesting. I might take a look at environment to start. This one, California bans cosmetics and apparel with PFAS stands out to me because I've never heard of PFAS and I want to learn more. So I might click on it to see what it's about. If I'm still interested after reading this article, I might try a search for PFAS to see if there are other potential secondary source articles to take a look at. I see there are about 300 articles, so that tells me that this topic is significant enough that I will be able to find other sources, which is good. I can skim the results and see that there are several interesting titles here with different aspects of PFAS, like applications to other industries, as well as information about legislation regarding them, so I know they are significant. At this point, I can choose my original article as one of my secondary sources, or I could choose one of these on this list. Remember though, your two secondary sources must come from different websites, so you would need to go back to the list of websites and choose another one to search for your second secondary article. All three of your articles should be on the same topic, so search for your topic on one of the other sites and choose your second article. Once you have your two secondary sources chosen, you can work on finding your scholarly primary article. To find that, we're going to go back to the guide and click on the Peer Reviewed Journal Sources tab. On this page, you will find all the information you need to find your primary article and get a working link to turn in, steps three and four. To search for a primary article, choose one of the databases. If you are off campus, you will need to log in to the library databases with your Triton ID and password. If you have any issues logging in with your Triton ID, campus IT support can help. Once you are in the database, search for your topic. I might try PFAS Cosmetics as my initial search. Remember to limit your search to keywords that represent the most important aspects of your topic and avoid unnecessary words as they will make your results less relevant. In Academic Search Premier, ProQuest, and Academic OneFile, make sure to check the peer-reviewed scholarly journals filter to limit your results to articles published in scholarly journals. In Science Direct, all your results will be scholarly. Also, check the full text box to limit to articles that are full text in the database. If you don't do that, you will get some results that are abstract only. We can order these for you, but it takes a few days. So if you need your article quickly, you should check the full text box. Once you have chosen a full text scholarly primary article that you want to read and summarize for the assignment, you will need to make sure that you have a working link to it so that Mary can open it. In the databases, the URL is not a permalink that will lead to the article. Instead, you must ensure that you have a permalink that will work. Or you can download the PDF and then upload it to your Google Drive so you can get a link. These instructions are on the guide in the All About Links box. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Haley for help. Lastly, if you are new to reading scholarly journal articles, make sure to check out these two resources. The slides explain scholarly articles and the peer review process. The Anatomy of a Scholarly Journal Article Handout is a cheat sheet designed to help you decipher each section of an article and quickly get the most out of it. Thanks for watching this video. Please reach out with any questions you have as you work on your research, and I will be happy to help.